minutes past the hour, wherever you are domiciled on this very earth, we welcome you. And as we do so, we ask you to also welcome other people who will undoubtedly benefit from the redeeming grace of this very gospel we are about to disseminate this very evening. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. Depending on where you are, you are receiving radio, Biafra, across a variety of platforms. Whichever way you have decided to join us today, endeavor to let those around you also know how to receive Radio Biafra. We are online. Radio Biafra is on 102.1. 102.2, 102.3 across Biafra land. We are also live on Facebook. We are on satellite. We have Radio Biafra app. If you wish to listen to us, if you wish to participate in this very program, there is nothing stopping you from doing so. That is why this very gospel must be preached unapologetically and without compromise. Wherever you are, we welcome you once again. My name is Nnam Dekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, and by the grace of the Most High Elohim, on this very glorious Shabbat evening, I remain a humble servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. We have come that the truth might prevail. We have come that the veil of darkness may be removed. We have come that freedom might be enthroned, not just for this very age, but for every age after us, for every generation that will come after us. What we are doing is right before the sight of God in heaven and man on this very earth. Evil has come, the devil has come to destroy and to descend, to basically desecrate the high places of the Most High. They have come that day may turn to night. They have come to spill the blood of the innocent. They have come that and lies accepted as truth. But in so far as, in as much as we live and we breathe, this very noble family of IPOB will not allow evil to prevail. Wherever we see injustice, we fight it. It doesn't matter if that very injustice is being forced upon those that we may ideologically disagree with. Therefore, this evening's broadcast is exceptionally important. It is very, very critical that you attend with your pen and your paper as usual and a great dose of common sense to add. Before we proceed, we must pray. I understand that the whole world is listening, including those in the Far East, those in Japan, those in Australia, those of you in New Zealand that I will be meeting very shortly. Everywhere is a go with excitement for the upcoming tour of the Far East and Australia. Before we go any further, Chukuki Kabiyama must accept every praise, every honor, and every adoration. We pray as we always pray each day before we come on this noble platform and when we are on it. That we are nothing before the sight of the Most High. Because only Him liveth from eternity to eternity. We are mortals and we are flesh. We come and we go, but the walls of Chukukika Biyama shall remain forever. We must bow down our heads in prayer as the ancients did. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we shall say of Elohim, He is our refuge and our fortress. He is our God and in him we trust. Not in any man, not in any flesh, not in any carvings, 
made by the hands of men. Our trust is in the Most High Elohim. From the Fulani pestilence, he shall cover us with his feathers, and under his wings we shall lie protected. The truth that Shukoki Kabiyama has given to us shall be our shield and our buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror from the Fulanis by day, nor from their AK 7s at night. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how they do it. One thing is undeniable. Men will fall and men will die as they are doing right now. But nothing shall befall IPOB. For Biafra shall emerge. And with our eyes, we shall behold the beauty of this coming nation, the reemergence of true freedom in Africa, the light of the black world, and the path through which progress can be made possible in sub Saharan Africa. Our enemies shall never devour us, and we shall live. To see what shall become of them. Because Chukokika Biyama is our foundation. Because he is our refuge. Because upon him have we anchored our hope. No evil shall befall us. There shall be no evil that can or will overwhelm. This very genuine agitation. This very effort to restore the kingdom of heaven upon the face of this very earth. Elohim has given instructions to the angels. There is nothing our enemies can do to dampen our spirit because the love of the Almighty is upon us and he shall deliver us he will crown our efforts with glory. And we will call upon him and he will answer. As he's answering us this very day. In times of trouble, as it is at this very moment, he is with us. That is why the dross machine will never ever overcome us. Because Biafra shall remain, because Biafra shall live. And there is nothing our enemies can do about it. We shall prevail that Elohim's grace may dwell upon the lives of his children, upon this very noble IPAB family, not just today, not just next week, not just next month, nor next year, but forever and ever we pray this very evening. He said, he said, he said, For some reason, you must bear with us. We are having very serious interruption very evening in terms of our network. It is not beyond this.
to keep attacking our efforts, but we shall proceed because I understand that the signals are clear, live and direct. For some reason, for some inexplicable reason, I don't know if our Facebook connection is still there, if it is working, but we shall proceed all the same. This is Radio Biafra. We are live and we are direct. And today is Saturday, the 27th day of July in the year of our Most High Elohim 2019. The time now is approximately 16 minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. Everybody is aware. If you do not know, then you are deceiving yourself. Everybody is aware of what has been happening in the double zoological republic. Of the evil that has been perpetrated or is being perpetrated on a daily basis against the innocent, against the meek and the very humble. To protest is a crime in the zoo. To agitate is a crime in the zoo. To hold any opinion that differs from that of the fallen is a crime punishable by the courts in that very cursed land created by the British for the destruction of the soul and spirit of enterprise of a black person. And this evening we look at the case of the proscription and the tagging of terrorism against the Shia sect, the IMN Islamic Movement of Nigeria, just as was the case with us in IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, the activities of Shia Muslim sect, which comports and must add very quickly, everything that the Shia movement or El Zagzagi's group has been doing has been within the confines of the law. That is the truth. Anybody who observe or has taken time to observe G7 summit, G20, G40, name it, anarchist protest, they destroy properties. They agitate very violently. None of them is locked up. None of them is imprisoned. Nobody opens fire on them. Not at all. But only in the zoo. And I keep wondering, why is it that the European gave us all that we know in terms of modern governance do things differently from we in Africa? I know where the blame lies and I shall be apportioning that very blame this evening. There is nothing wrong with what Shia has been doing, what the group of El Zagzagi has been doing. We have been at the forefront of campaigning for the release of El Zagzagi and also the release of Dasuki. The courts have given order after order for them to be released. But they have not obeyed that court order. But surprise, surprise, they went back to the same court to go and get an order to prescribe the Shia sect and to sustain the legally unsustainable, which is the incarceration, illegal detention, I should say, of Sheikh El Zagzagi. Some people wonder why we have chosen this path. Some people wonder what IPOB is up to. Why are we supporting the Shia movement, the Islamic movement of Nigeria? The reason is very simple because we are Biafrans. We have conscience. We have a soul. We reject injustice. We repudiate everything that has to do with injustice. You cannot regard yourself as a human being when you see evil being perpetrated on a daily basis to the detriment of the entire society and you keep quiet because you hold a divergent opinion from whoever is being afflicted. Now Zagzagi must be released and the tagging of the Shia group as a terrorist organization 
cannot hold water. Not now, not today, not tomorrow, not ever. It can never, ever stand. It cannot hold. Because it's based on falsehood. You arrested a man. You killed seven of his children. You killed one of his wives. Critically injured about two others. You left him blind in one eye. And the court have said to you, this man should be released. You did not obey that court order. But when the court, when you went behind people's back, as you normally do, to go and obtain an expatriate order, an expatriate, whatever you should call it, in the damnable zoological republic, expatriate motion, I have to be grammatically exact. How come I can do that? How come you are now obeying a court order that says that El Zagzi should be locked up indefinitely? that the Shia group in Nigeria should be tagged a terrorist movement. So all of a sudden, you now obey court judgment. What is the difference between the, the pronouncement of this very judge and that same, the other judge that gave bail to Zagzagi? What is the difference? Are they not coming from the same high court of Nigeria? Is it the same high court they're coming from? So one judge you decide to disobey, the other judge you decide to obey. Because this very judge, this one that granted this expert motion is in your pocket. You have intimidated the idiot to the point whereby they now preside over impunity. Or maybe you have bribed him with a house in Dubai as you normally do. And as I said, I will come to who is to be blamed for this whole nonsense. The Shia group has done nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. They are agitating. If a child is nine months in the state, and the mother refuses to give birth to that very baby, the mother will die. The child will agitate until the mother dies or gives birth to it. That is how nature is. There must be freedom for goodness sake in Africa. I mean total freedom, not selective. You don't decide those you give freedom of speech to, those you give freedom of association to. You don't decide who you give freedom. Freedom is universal. What is good for the Giz is also good for the Ganda. If you, are, if you want freedom, you must allow that freedom not only to exist, but to be exercised. Even when you disagree with it, that is what makes you a human being, not the animals that we are in Africa. It is very, very disgraceful. And I'll get to that later as to who is to be blamed for this whole nonsense. They have prescribed that POB all kept quiet. They have prescribed the Shia sect. That means you can no longer protest in the zoo. Unless they're in conform, unless they're in agreement with you, unless what you're protesting for is in conformity to the government position. And to make matters worse, all this nonsense is being presented by, by somebody from Sudan. That is the most painful, difficult aspect of it. Abba Kiyari and El Rufai is messing with the brains of everybody. Of every individual in the zoo, your, your, your brain is being moved up. By Abakiyari, El Rufai. All because Tinubu wants to be president. Because of that, the dominant Yoruba media have kept quiet and have supported evil to the point whereby people cannot protest against injustice anymore. I am so upset tonight. I am so enraged. I now begin to agree with Trump. Even more so. We in Africa should be recolonized a thousand times. We are useless. We are useless beyond useless. A black man in Africa is hopeless. I'm enraged, I'm telling you. We black people, we are demented. We are not well. We don't understand the very simple basic tenet of democracy. You must obey court order. You have to. You must obey it. You must. Even if you don't like it, you have to obey it. But in the zoo, you don't. Abak Yari and the Furani Kaba, they decide. Because they are Sunnah Muslim. Because of that, we must clamp down on Shia. We must destroy them. Who told you that? Religious belief is not something you can eradicate. It's impossible. It is impossible. You cannot do it. The constitution of the zoo guarantees freedom of religion. If somebody wants to worship, how can I put it? Um, a sewage system. You know, God, 
they want to go there and be playing. That is their business. It has nothing to do with you. If they want to practice that sheer uh, uh, um, aspect of Islamic religion, there is entirely their business. It's not your business. And trying to claim that they have a tie to Iran as justification is rubbish. Holds no water. That means you don't understand what freedom is all about. IPOB supports Israel. And we do so till the day we die. We will continue to support Israel. It doesn't matter. That is our view and we are entitled to it. Not because you have one thing or the other against Israel. Because of that, you will hate IPOB because of it. That means you are being very foolish. As long as I'm aware, Iran has never attacked anybody or killed anybody in the zoo. That is the truth. That is, you may not like it, but it's the truth. The people actually doing the killing, nobody is proscribing them. Are you sure that Nigerians are you? Are, where are these people from? The people killing you every blessed day, they are not target terrorists. What I, where is your oh hey why did I why did God create me a black African in the midst of people whose stupidity is beyond it has fallen off the scale where it can be comprehended our stupidity and hopelessness is so bad that I cannot begin to define it I can't define it what did El Zagzaki do? So much you tell me what the Shia did in Nigeria to warrant being tagged with a terrorist group. That's IPOB. What did they do? The police has killed nearly 3,000 of them. You expect them to wait each time to be slaughtered? Is that what you're thinking? Are you normal at all? and this Black people are useless. I'm saying this on the radio station, being listened to all over the world, and I'm letting everybody know that blacks in Africa, we blacks, we blacks, our brain is not complete. You cannot begin to convince me that black people are human beings. It is impossible. With what is happening in Nigeria, what is happening in Africa, a black man is useless, beyond useless, beyond useless. Fulani militia are killing you. Fulani headsmen are slaughtering and raping our mothers. Our land is being appropriated by force and give, being given to them. You have not complained. You have done nothing. And you, you, you have the temerity to rise up to speak against here in Nigeria. It can never be well with you and your family. You people are evil. I said it before and allow me to repeat. You see God in heaven, Chukukika, Biyama. When they say that God knows everything, the beginning and end of everything, from tonight you must believe it. Do you know why Africa is poor? Africa is poor because we are a wicked race. The black race is the most wicked race on this earth. Wicked, stubborn, and evil. That is why we are suffering. That is why there is no electricity, no light, no good, because inside the heart of a black person is evil and darkness. Evil and darkness. A man lost his children, seven of them, killed by this same Nigerian army. Killed by this Nigerian army. Over 3,000 followers slaughtered. Nobody can point to one terrorist attack by the Shia. Nobody can. There is none. The Fulanese who are killing you, Fulani headsmen. Oh dear, Chineken, are you in heaven at all? Is there God in heaven tonight? Because if there is, Africa ought to be destroyed. Africa is full of in is the evil. And, and ignorance in Africa is, is indescribable. Indescribable. You people are evil. Blacks are evil. 
I'm telling you, evil beyond comprehension, and God will destroy the black race. We shall remain slaves to the wise forever and ever, as long as we continue to reason this wickedly. It can never be well with black people, I tell you. We are evil. The man is blind in one. There is no compassion. No single compassion. Nobody is moved by the plight of this man. All you think about is Iran. You think about Shia. What nonsense? What planet are you living on? What planet are you living on? Blacks are to blame. Your so-called Nigerians are to blame for this very mess. So also is the American ambassador to Nigeria. So also is the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. These are the people supporting evil. When Obama came to remove Jonathan, I told you that Obama would remove Jonathan and Jonathan was removed. Look at where we are today. People will come into my village with AK-47, rape my mother, slaughter us, and they get on land. Somebody is, is simply protesting, release my leader, not that they are protesting against any court order or court ruling or judgment. They are asking you to obey what your court said. You refused. You responded by killing them. And you went back to the same court, the same federal high court of Nigeria, in uh, the same Abuja, to go and obtain an order proscribing his group. The same law, the same judgment you said you will not obey. You are now going back to obey the one that suits you. And you're telling me that Nigeria is a nation, that Nigeria is a country? Black people. Do you know, do you now begin to see the reason why God looked at us and said, You people are evil? Because of that, I'll make you slaves to whites. Do you see why we are suffering? Because your heart is evil. You don't reason properly. These are people who can because Yoruba, Yoruba media wants 2023 for Tinubu to be president, they condone every evil. And if Yoruba nation does not take time, I tell you tonight that evil shall overcome Yoruba land. I say what I say with justification. I will read the coverage of Punch newspaper. Punch this Yoruba paper. Okay, I didn't know that. You people are you people are satanic. You are evil. The personification of 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 of, of the forces of darkness. You people are evil. Evil. Madagascar non we hold your name on marketing. Evil is happening and you keep quiet. You cannot confront who for any headsman. I don't know why God brought me to Africa. I don't know why. I should have come as a tree in the forest. Maybe they cut me down and use me as a, for center table. I'll be useful at least. Do you see why God said you must be under Europeans? Asia is progressing. South America is progressing. The only place not growing in the world is Africa because you people are evil. You support evil. Your heart is black, as black as we are. Evil. Godless. You are in a country where your so called president from Sudan decides which judge am I going to obey? I don't like this ruling. I want to obey it. I like this one. Let me obey it. And you people are keeping quiet. You are quiet and evil is happening. And you're telling me you're educated. You're telling me you have conscience. And tomorrow you go to church. Oh, dear me. This assignment is too much. I tell Elohim is too much for me. I cannot come from a continent where people cannot reason, where there is no conscience, where wickedness and evil is the order of the day. The black race is a disgrace to humanity. The black race is an eyesore on this very earth, I tell you that. It's an eyesore. No, John, evil is happening and you're quiet. 
Because Zag Zag is not your brother, not your sister. Has a, do you know how people feel about your religion? Do you know how they feel about you and your religion? People, we have the guts in America to complain about racist attacks. Oh, that the West are attacking with the racist. I wish they can kill all of us there. I'm telling you the truth. We don't deserve to be alive. Black people do not deserve to walk. We, we, are, we are a stain on the earth. Our wickedness stinks to high heavens and back. We are an evil race. Quote me, that's what I said. The, mark the date of today. In any other country on this earth, what Jubril did, we will send him back to Sudan immediately. How can you decide which judge to obey? That idiot that didn't go to school. Malami is saying, uh, if not for what I've been doing, detaining people without trial, uh, there will be no Nigeria. Nigeria for whose benefit? For your benefit and for some Yoruba people. For the benefit of those that make billions on oil and gas from Biafra land. That's all. That's some idiots are too blind to say it. They say I should speak like a head of state. Which you st stupid head of state is that? Which useless head of state is that? In a place where people can know reason like human beings. You know my head of state. Oh dear Lord have mercy. We are, we are an evil race. Anytime you see another black person being killed in America, know that God is punishing you for what you have done because you're evil. Evil beyond evil. I'm telling you. And who brought this nonsense on us? It's not Obama. Not, uh, he's not a black man. Who brought this mess into the zoo? It's Obama. Isn't it? And they ran to the British to sustain what is unsustainable. Everybody knows that Buhari is dead. They know it. Everybody knows. European media knows. Everybody knows. But because you don't want them to come to be proven right, you don't want IPOP to be proven right, you have decided to corrupt people. It will consume you. Yoruba media will suffer. Yoruba media will suffer. They will suffer and they will suffer. For their for this injustice, they keep on against ordinary people. Poor people. In your journey, my banquet. Because you control newspaper. Your 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 uh, preachers are. Uh, in Pentecostal churches, they tell the idiots what to do and obey them. They cannot rise up from the pulpit and speak the truth. Because Zach, Zach is not a Christian, he's not a Pentecostalist. He, because of that, let's leave him to die. You are evil. You are beyond evil. We are a useless race. Black race is a disgrace on humanity. White people can never allow such nonsense to happen. It doesn't. It's Everybody will die. They can't allow it. That's the difference between black and whites. Whites cannot allow this nonsense to happen. It won't happen. Don't tell me about um, cases during slavery. It was our, our idiotic ignorance and wickedness that allowed God to hand us over to whites to enslave us. We are wicked. We are a wicked race. That is why we are suffering. Dara. I must continue because the truth must be spoken on this very platform. The your zoo constitution guarantees freedom, freedom of worship, freedom of speech. The right to even protest is there. They don't obey their own laws because they don't know. When you appoint a chief justice, who is more or less um uh a I mean, how can I put it? Okay, myself, I am like a native doctor. This is the nonsense you get. Now you're telling me in a country that claims it practices democracy, that you can choose which of the judges to obey his or her ruling and which one to ignore. Is that what you're telling me? The same court, you said I will not obey your order. You went back to the same court to go and obtain an order to keep somebody in prison in perpetuity and to ban his movement. Hey. We blacks have taken, we have taken wickedness and impunity to a different level altogether. That is what we have done. We have redefined wickedness. I never believed in my life 
that Africa can be so not just back. We are of course we are backwards. Who doesn't know we are backwards? <laughs> we have added another layer of evil to it. No wonder Michael Jackson was bleaching himself to be white. I am. I, I do apologize to Michael. Jackson. I have now seen what he saw. Michael Jackson was trying to make himself white because he he looked at us and knew that we are evil. This Yoji, evil upon evil. You claim you are fighting corruption. All those you are appointed are corrupt individuals. You. Buhari, before he died, they got into power on the back of corrupt money, uh, river state money stolen by image. Today, Buhari's son is the fourth richest person in Africa. And the, uh, the fact of corruption, you people are useless, hopeless to the core. Quote me right, is what I said. You're hopeless. Shia group, I and the Islamic, IMN, Islamic Movement of Nigeria, or for Nigeria, I don't know what to call them, is not a terrorist group. It is not and can never be. Forget all that nonsense. People saying they're tied to Iran and all that rubbish. That is bunkum. El Zagzagi, what crime did he commit? We shall get to that later. <clears throat> there is no other place on this earth that a religious body has ever been prescribed. Never. Not on this earth. All this nonsense with uh, Shia and the Sunnah Islam is their business. Nothing to do with a secular constitution. So when Jubril and uh, when Abba Kiari and uh, El Rufai crossed up to Saudi Arabia, don't you see it? When Obama was bowing before the king of Saudi Arabia, did you not see it? Did you not see it? I'm sure you didn't. You people are cowards. There is no place on this earth. Not even in Saudi Arabia. Can you ban? Do you know they have Shia in Saudi Arabia? Have they been banned? How can you go and take a leader of a movement and you expect them to keep quiet? Like other people are keeping quiet. That's what you expect. You bring your wickedness and injustice upon the people, and you ask, you expect them to just sit down and take it. The answer is no. Like IPOB won't take it. We will keep on agitating until we are free. Because one day everybody will die, isn't it? Nobody lives forever. Nobody does. So the after must come. The blame for what is happening. The, I just I don't call it zigzag. The blame for the injustice in the zoo that the British created. Is caused by three groups of people, only three. Our stupidity as black people, the British High Commission and the British mission in Nigeria is satanic. Another one is the American ambassador to Nigeria. They collect money from Nigerian government not to send the accurate report back to their home countries. I bet you that the State Department in America does not know what is happening in the zoo because they embellish it. His farmer had a crisis. It's a clash. The police and the army came shooting dead Shia protesters. And you call it a clash between the two. A whole ambassador, American ambassador, is sending back, feeding the State Department in Washington lies about Nigeria. Because they gave him he's a millionaire. The same thing with the British. This is the level of evil and wickedness we have. American Embassy in Nigeria, British High Commission in Nigeria, and the stupidity of black people. We are black and we are useless. Those are the three factors holding you down as a perpetual slave. I didn't say it's the American official policy. Or the British official policy. No. I said their missions in Nigeria. The American ambassador is corrupt. The British High Commissioner is more than corrupt. Nigeria, give, they should be probed. Nigeria gives them money. To lie and to falsify their mission reports back to their home countries. 
If you ask them now, they'll write. When you ask them, what are you doing about um, El Zagzagi? Uh, no, I, I think we sent some trouble. That there may be a link with Iran. There may be a link. All lies. All lies. The U.S. Embassy takes the blame mission and the stupidity of us black people, black Africans, we are useless. <laughs> Stop pretending we are, hope we are more than hopeless. Forget all the degrees, PhD, SSG, man, rubbish. We are useless. Useless. As black people, our natural disposition towards evil, you know, we love evil. This type of nonsense cannot happen in a white man's. It's impossible. You can't try that rubbish. I'm the prime minister, or as Trump is, you choose which laws to obey, which one. They will come to the White House and control you out. They said they will, they will bond you, they will put chain handcuffs on your ankles and on your wrist. In your next life, you wouldn't mess up. You, you wouldn't mess with the people. That's how it's done. Do you see how advanced whites are compared to you, blacks? Because, you know, when you go to the court sometimes, some of you see the picture of a woman or statue. The woman is blind with a blindfold with the scale on one hand and sword on the other hand. Some of you go to law school, you don't know what that thing means. They just say, oh, they say law is blind. And look at the idiots. Do you know why they say he's blind? Because he doesn't, justice is blind. It doesn't matter who is affected. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if it's a share or IPOP or whoever. It doesn't matter. The law is the law. So when somebody who is a Sunnah Muslim gets um, favorable ruling in the court, they release them. Those doing the killing in the zoo, they're all Sunnah, Wahhabi, fundamentalists. <laughs> it's okay. Give them more land. Hey, why don't you dialogue with them? That once is Shia. Oh, what's IPOB? Uh, why didn't you go and kill them? After all, the American ambassador will say it's nothing. And that's what they do. Do you know before they came to invade my house that the British government was informed? And they came to go ahead to come and kill me. Are you aware of that? So I'm telling you, I'm telling you live on air. Are you aware that the British government, the British High Commission in Nigeria, sanctioned my assassination? Are you aware of that? Yeah, in time, all will be revealed. Our natural disposition towards evil and wickedness is why a Sudanese can do whatever he likes. Jubilee Sudan. Everybody knows he's from Sudan. Look at him and look at the Buhari, and you will know. But your stupidity and your natural cowardice. You're a black person, you cannot reason. This your G, black and useless. Black and useless. We are black and we are useless to the core. If you support evil, anything I say about you, you should accept it with good reason. I'm telling you. How did it all begin? Some of you may ask this evening. How did all, how did we come to this um, stage? Of um, uh, rejecting one judgment but accepting another from the same court, depending on the judge who is ruling in your favor. Seven out of eight children of Zagzagi has been murdered by Nigerian state. And you're telling me he doesn't have the right to be angry, but you won't see anything wrong with because you're black. Anytime you go on social media, you see somebody not making any sense, that person is probably a black person. I come to my dear friend and brother <clears throat> and bring what he wrote because it's correct. I'm bring what he wrote. <clears throat> you shot his wife in the stomach. The wife was shot four times and has been in detention till now. Not just like, even the wife is also in detention. This man was shot and blinded in one eye. Oh, zag -zag. It doesn't touch you because you're black. You know, as a black person, your heart is cold. Cold and blind to light. Because you're black from Africa. You are evil. You don't empathize. There is no empathy. You don't see. All you care about is, oh, who is winning? Let me, so since the Fulanis are now killing everybody and they're on top, let me support Fulani. You have no soul and you have no conscience. 
That is why God placed you. I'm asking God, but what did I do? Why take me to Africa? I'm, I'm still thinking and asking God, what did I do? Because I, I am better off as maybe as, a, as something that could be useful to humanity. We black are not useful to mankind. We are a waste of space. We are clogging up space for mankind. I'm telling you the truth. We are useless. You did all this to his, uh, uh, this man and you think you will succeed. What is the crime of Sheikh El Zagzagi? You bring out uh, he had the same thing you did when I found BSS. He said, oh, can you see them? Can you see them? But you cannot see from the headsmen. You can see them. They're the ones killing you and raping you every day. But you never learn. Because you're black and you're thin. I, I'm so upset tonight. I, I don't think, I don't, I, I wouldn't normally do a program like this. But I am enraged. Enraged. Africa is a disgrace. Trump was thinking about, said he was going to, what is he said, he's going to deport people from America. He should start very, very quickly. And he also banned some people from traveling for election rigging. And they, they said their politicians know. Every vice chancellor in the zoo and their families should be barred from traveling to the USA. And their children, excuse me, should be deported from America, all of them. They all should be deported back to come and face the consequences of the destruction their parents have wrought on ordinary people. Who are the ones that are it's not, it's not the vice chancellors with PhD, emeritus professor, rubbish. But they were there rigging election for thugs and illiterates. Trump should hurry and deport everybody. In fact, every nation should, myself included, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't exclude myself. We don't deserve anything good. We Africans are a disgrace to humanity. Big disgrace. We must remember that uh, there was a time when Goodlord Jonathan was stoned when he went to campaign in the north. Did Jonathan, did Jonathan open fire on the people? Did Jonathan ask anybody to open fire on the protesters? They burnt his posters, his billboards in the north. Did you open fire? If you're in the south, they will open fire and keep people. And you have one idiot who probably doesn't know his father. Somewhere either in Lagos or in Abuja, I think. Oh, but, but they shouldn't have stopped, uh, stopped him. Do you know what is a protest? It is a right you have in the constitution. And they tell you, oh, we have one person's right to stop, another one begins. That's time to talk about law and morality. Where well, one person's uh, 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 right ends, another one starts from rubbish like that. So you won't allow Nigeria to fight for itself based on its laws. You are in your office somewhere in Abuja saying, what I'm doing here, by breaking the law, which is what the Tony El Zagzagi means, you are, by breaking the law, somehow you're keeping Nigeria one. And I remind my Yoruba brothers, have you seen what you have done? Because you, you have condoned and served the Fulanese for so long. You have strengthened them. Now, they personify impunity. And that impunity will consume you. What and see what will happen to your race. Your journalists are evil. Your bad, I've been screaming and shouting, your bad journalists are evil. Until they repent and change, everybody will go down with them. Jonathan, on the 21st of January 2015, went to the north. Nothing happened to those that stoned him and burned his effigy and his billboards. Jonathan did not retaliate. I was in detention in Kuja. Not in Kuja, sorry. At um, the DSS dungeon in Abuja. December 2015, when I received the message, that they have massacred people in the north 
I asked them why were they massacred. They said because Buratai was attending. I wanted to go and see the Emir of Zaria, if I recall very, very well. And his motorcade was blocked. He's an ordinary army, army chap, but he has a motorcade. Oh, 50 vehicle on. That's Africa for you. <laughs> Primitive idiots everywhere. His motorcade was blocked, and because of that, thousands were mowed down. Some of you saw only two days ago the motorcade of Boris Johnson, the new British Prime Minister was blockaded nothing before they ran away they took another route and ran away in nigeria you come out with soldiers you have not even defeated boko haram all the your so-called insurgency and your brothers killing everybody everywhere you have not been able to stop them but ordinary people protesting saying what is happening is not good you open fire on them and that makes you a general do you see why we Africans are fools? <laughs> we always celebrate evil. And that is why evil is following us all over the place. And we keep wondering, oh, why, why are we not developed? I traveled to Asia. They have like Your stupidity is the reason why. But you will not see it. Because you're so helpless, you cannot see your own stupidity. We blacks are useless, I'm telling you. But today they have declared Shia movement a terrorist group because you don't like what they're doing. Release their leader according to who to court pronouncement. You're saying no, I won't do it. Because you are Sunnah, you are Sunni Islam, and they are Shia. You don't like them. Unbelievable. This is according to European newspaper. Punch. How they reported it. The Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday ordered the prescription of Shia movement as protest by the Islamic organization Rocks Abuja. A newspaper without soul or conscience is a Yoruba paper. No soul, no. They can never tell you. They can never write in a detail and say to the government, what you're doing is wrong. Obey court order. No. Tribu wants to be president in 2023, so why bother? Their, their, their project now is, is our turn, no? Let's put Yoruba man there. Now we have reached an agreement. Oh, if Fulani rule small, Yoruba go rule small. That's what they're saying. And some idiots in the so-called Niger Delta will be talking rubbish every day. After drinking, put, put, put it in the water, they'll be talking nonsense. Let's continue. Saturday punch reports that justice Ndonye Maha, whatever. Have you heard of the name Maha before? The name person, the person's name is Ndonye Maha, whatever that means. Because they know if they go to their favorite, what's their favorite is uh, Kafarati. I will complain. They go to this one now. Ndonye Maha. I've never heard of such useless name before. Who answers Maha? From, 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 from Igbo land. Maha, Ndonye Maha. What is the meaning of Maha? These are the idiots that converted to Islam in order to be able to get, get one or two contracts so, so they can come back to the village and answer to an affluent man. They said he issued the order in a ruling in which he also designated the activities of the Shia organization in any part of Nigeria as acts of terrorism and illegality. But I'm asking a question. What legality is the government standing on not to obey a court order before yours? Why should the government obey your own order you have issued but ignore the order of another judge? And she's learned though. The court went further to restrain any person or group of persons from participating in any form of activities involving or concerning the IMN, the Shia group, under the platform in Nigeria. In other words, they should no longer protest. So instead of you to ask why are people protesting or make laws to mitigate against such protests in the future, if it is truly against the law, 
quietly <laughs> proscribe them and tag them terrorists. This is how the brain of a black person works. And you want me to respect you. You want me to have regard for you. <laughs> but now it's not possible. It's not going to be done that way. Impossible. Her name is Justice Maha. Wherever she comes from, I don't know. I don't have her name before. Nkonye Maha. M-A-H-A. I keep asking. Does anybody answer Maha anywhere you come from? Maha. M-A-H-A. Maha. Nkonye Maha. Unbelievable. This is a report by Yoruba Nisuta. Let me go to the part that is, is quite uh, interesting. Uh, they reported it. That's what they, when they are killing people, they don't report it. They say it's a clash, clash between uh, uh, army and uh, protesters. Clash. I see protesters have AK 47. Do protesters have AK 47? That says no. El Zagzagi and the wife have been in custody since heaven knows. Since 2015. The Obama man went on to write about the affidavit, what happened and everything. I don't hate Euro Barris. My good friends are from there. Very close friends, I, I hasten to add. But if I see evil, I say it. If I see injustice, I fight it. The Yoruba media, we are where we are today because of you. This same Yoruba media fought Habacha, you know? To a standstill. And Habacha was more ruthless in a dictatorship. All of a sudden, because of the promise of uh, presidency, they have jettisoned every moral ground, every value they had. Because it's their turn to loot in 2023. Yoruba media. <laughs> Yoruba media. Yoruba, Yoruba media, Yoruba media. Okay. Do you know, let, let me tell you, this is the part that got me very upset. <clears throat> it says, this is according to the court, what this Maha woman wrote. Le, see, I'm, I'm, I, I said earlier that we blacks are evil. Even from a sitting judge in a court of law. I want to prove to you this evening how evil we blacks are truly are. Listen to what she wrote. This is the judge that prescribed she. She said, the violent and aggressive activities of the members of the respondent, which is Shia group, under the guise of clamoring for the release of their leader, have not only heightened tension and insecurity in the country, but it is also earning the country negative rating globally. Oh, oh, Shia protest is earning you negative ratings. Not Fulani headsmen, not your so called bandits. Not the corruption in the, in the country. Not you rigging election. Hey. This is from a high court judge in Nigeria. She went on to write. Both the US and UK governments have already issued travel warnings on Nigeria on account of this violent protest. Is that true? Hey. They issued warnings because of full and you people what you're doing. Full and has been. Full and terrorists ter all the way from Asorok. Full and terrorists is the reason why warnings were issued not here. And look at the way a European people reported it. I see if it is true. This is the pronouncement of a judge in a court of law in the 21st century. Hey, I will continue. It recalled that before the July 27, 2019 incident, the group's members in a violent protest on July 9, 2019, while trying to force their way into the National Assembly complex, <laughs> come to London and see what protest is. Some people are camped outside the parliament in London, House of Commons and Lords, filthy looking. Go and touch them and you see what the law will do to you. Do you see? And they went, they, I'm sure this Maha, whatever she's called, went to school in America, or she will not tell you, I am Harvard Law, or Yale, or Stanford Law, and I'll be here to honor her. There is nothing Harvard or Stanford or Cambridge or Oxford about we blacks. 
Look at all the landmark rulings in, of this world. Ruling against the state. A judge will sit down and write his or her judgment and condemn an entire country and uphold the right of one single person. That um uh, uh what's it called uh, expert uh, expert uh, uh, motion or to hear it that is why when I see I saw somebody suggested in London a few a few years ago that uh, uh when somebody says he's a professor and he's black he will first of all slap him <laughs> because he's, he's meaningless yeah, a black professor is useless they can't they done anything something like with a judge this is what somebody wrote that went to school lies upon lies you were stopped from going to america because of your fraudulent that you read the election simple and short you're blaming it on share travel warnings everywhere because of the kidnappings of a full army headsmen full army full army not because of share but you're about to write if it's, uh, it's true <laughs> oh dear me Tomorrow, they say, of course, how can I hate Europe? All my best friends are from there, but I have to tell them the truth. The same way I'm telling the truth about us black people. I want to let you know tonight that God in heaven looked at the hearts of men and realized that in Africa, <laughs> Africa is wicked, though. very, very wicked, I'm telling you. That's why I said you people will come last. You will be slaves to other nations. They will trample upon you because you are evil and you are wicked. They said that in a judge wrote in July 27, 2007, the group murdered a Sunni cleric in Sokoto. They have come. This is a battle between Sunna and Shia that they brought to the zoo with a British High Commissioner cheering from the side. An American ambassador. They are getting their money every month. Every month they get their money. Say so it doesn't matter how many of you <laughs> end up being slaughtered. They will write and say it's a, it's a minor clash. You know, this uh, is access to water for the livestock. They need to drink water. The Nama need to drink water. You know, it's access to to water. That's that's the problem. The whole ambassador trading in the blood of wretched, hopeless, ignorant, wicked Africans like us. And tomorrow you, you complain. Tomorrow you complain. And when they kill a black person in America, you start complaining. <laughs> but when they kill in your village, you are clapping for, for, for Bulatai and his troops. They have not won any war outside. They lost in Bakasi. They won't take them off. They ran back. They have never served with distinction in any theater in the whole world. But they keep promoting them to, to general, general, general. Unbelievable. The stupid woman went on to write a whole lot of rubbish, which the punch newspaper gobbled up without asking a simple question. What is it exactly that Zagzagi did that you killed his nine children? Sorry, seven children. What is it that El Zagzaki did that you locked him up? Somebody does uh, I feel you shouldn't get involved though because you're a fool. If you say I you should, that means you're a fool and you're not IPOB. We can never support injustice. Impossible. Impossible. It can never happen. The Biafra we are building, there will be no injustice. None whatsoever. That you may know. That Chuko Kikadian is with us. We don't believe in evil. So, Elsa exactly then die. And uh, the day they announce his death, like Leah Lea Shwaibu, you write RIP. Oh, may, may she rest well with Jesus in heaven. Jesus is on the right hand side of God. Leah Shwaibu will be on the left. You see how stupid you are? You see how hopeless you are? Can you imagine? If Leah Shwebu had died under Jonathan, what will happen? All BS will be everywhere. Everybody will be complaining. Are you complaining now? Are you complaining now? 
they moved heaven and earth to do their deal with their Chiboko girls. But this girl is dead, killed, rest in peace. You brought out her picture and you, and you wrote R.I.P. Facebook that a white man invented. All we do is we consume. And sometimes we consume even ignorance. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We must continue to do our work. I would give you the message raw, the way it comes. Even those of them that say they are, they are prophets, have they been able to predict anything before? What we tell you here it will happen. And I won't hear it, I suppose. You see, with your two eyes, you see it. The level of injustice is too much. I'll go on to also analyze what my deputy, our deputy leader said, which I'm for. And I agree with him totally. He said, the real terrorists are in Asorok. The real terrorists are Mieti Allah and their patron. And who is their patron? Buhari before he died and Jubril. In fact, everybody who is a patron of Mieti Allah should be arrested. And I, I have instructed our lawyers. We are going to write to USA State Department. We are going to list out all the patrons of Mieti Allah. And that includes Jonathan. And we will be arguing very forcefully why they should be denied visa to America. Jonathan included. He's a patron of Mieti Allah. Mieti Allah is a terrorist group. Anybody who is their patron should also be regarded as a terrorist. They should. The full only hurts men that you have killing and rampaging through our towns and villages. And now it was your about abandoned and bandits. Oh, don't stigmatize the full and erase, including Coca. That man is they say is in Sokoto. Coca, Roman Catholic Archbishop inside the desert in Sokoto. And what I think he's suffering from sunstroke in the brain. His brain is not quite correct. Don't stigmatize them. But you stigmatize the whole of Biafra by prescribing IPOB. You are not stigmatizing every Shia in Nigeria. You banned a religion. It's, it's, simple. it's simple unheard of before. Some of you are clapping because you are black, you are evil, you are wicked, and you are ignorant. And on top of that, you are cowards. You can't confront evil, can you? But we do here every, every blessed day. The real terrorist Mark Ban Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association is the fourth most deadly terrorist group in the world. The fourth most deadly terror group, full learning, the fourth most deadly terror group in the world. No court has prescribed them. The more they kill, the more land they give them. The more they settle them with your money. Now, should I say, with the money come from Biafra land, the more Yorubas are waiting for Tinubu to enter office in 2023. <laughs> hey, this is your black, black people. <laughs> anyway, you're not black for nothing. You know one thing about, I, I told you, uh, uh, my son, Nemeka, wants to study, what's it called again? Is it, um, uh, Astrophysics. Astrophysics. Well, because of that, I got interested in um, in in the cosmos, in heavenly and stellar bodies. And uh, I started reading about black holes and all the rest of it. And the funniest thing is that this black hole, they're very massive, they are very powerful, they're very strong. They inhabit the center of every galaxy in the universe. And you know what they do? They conceive, they don't give anything back in return, and they are black. This is how funny it is. <laughs> oh dear, actually, come on. The biggest object in the universe is black. It consumes everything and it gives nothing back in return. Just think about it. Oh, Google it and read up after this program. That may help you understand the state of black people. Where we are evil, honestly. A very wicked race. Arguably, the most wicked race on earth is black. Very wicked. 
And you can say it is because of colonialism, Britain came and gave us the wickedness, yes. But we now modified it to suit our black nature. When you see something white, you say it's black. When it's black, you say it's white. And you're, you studied at Oxford or Cambridge Law or Harvard or Princeton. <laughs> this UG, black. Unbelievable. Check him and remember. The U.S. State Department must designate Nyeti Yala as a terrorist group. And the sooner that happens, the better for everybody. I am beside myself with rage this evening. It is up to our people. We are not only escaping ignorance, poverty, disease, and deprivation in the zoo. Now you understand why I said to you that Biafra means something more to us. Biafra is here to bring light where once there was darkness. Or where there is darkness. Because we're still fighting. We are the light. Not just of Africa. But of the entire black race. During my tour of the U.S., I said that we will fight this very battle to its logical conclusion. And the reason why things are the way they are is because most of those that lead you in the zoo, most of your judges, most of your police commissioners, most of those they promote in the judiciary and also in the military, oh, their loyalty or their rise in power to full any patronage. And that is why impunity upon impunity is multiplying on a daily basis and nobody's doing anything about it. But we can do something about it. We can bring this impunity to an end and we can do it collectively. I welcome the bold initiative from the leaders of the Middle Belt to disassociate themselves from the Fulani Core North, we welcome that. And I would like especially to commend the leader of the Middle Belt Forum for standing up to those blood-sucking demons from the North, Anga Abdullahi and Co. If the Middle Belt is serious, about wanting their freedom then we will work with them to ensure that everybody is free only if they are serious if they are serious we will work with them to freedom i've said it before our fight is not about oil or gas our fight is about freedom when biafra comes oil and gas will be handed over to United Nations Security Council plus Israel to oversee its distribution to every part that once constituted Nigeria. To let them know that we want, I don't need oil and gas to survive. Our brain is there. The greatest natural resource you can think of as a human being is your brain, not what is inside the ground, so that they have that in mind. During my tour of the USA, I did speak about making our people in America contribute towards this very effort. Some journalists were calling, called us yesterday and were crying. One of them said, a piece of land, my brother is in the U.S., a piece of land he bought has now been occupied by full and heads men. And everybody's looking up to IPOB to do something about it. And my response was very simple. So is IPOB looking up to those of them in America to support this very effort financially. They must support what we are also doing. And how are they going to do that? Our people in the Americas, if you have a brother, sister, uncle, aunt, no matter who they are, tell them that they are going to contribute $1 each. And this dollar 
they are going to contribute. It took, it took us time to come up with this very idea to fundraise for our people. The one dollar I asked everybody to contribute in America every month is not actually going to come from your pocket. It is going to come from Uncle Sam, which is the Inland Revenue Service of America. Because it is tax deductible. What it means is that if you contribute one dollar in the, uh, if you're in America and you're working and you contribute a dollar every month, which is twelve dollars a year, it will go a long way. And it is also tax deductible, which means you will get it back from the taxman. When you're filing your tax returns, you will be able to get that dollar back. So anybody who refuses to contribute towards this very effort, you know that the person wants those at home to die. That's all. It, 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 it now, it, it would defy not just logic and common sense, ability to take the wickedness of a black person to a new level. The money we are asking you to contribute one dollar a month is not your money, but we are asking you to use your name to donate it to Biafra Aid Foundation in America. Understand me very well. The Biafra Aid Foundation has been set up as what the Americans called a 501c3 account at Chase, at the Chase Bank in America. 501c3 means that every dime and nickel you donate is subject to tax write-off at the end of the year. In other words, at the end of the year, American government will say, oh, my dear brother or sister, I can see you contributed within this past year, $12 only or $12 every month to Biafra Aid Foundation. We are going to write it off. We will give you back the same $12 you contributed and they will now assess your income tax or whatever tax that you pay in America. So what we're asking you to do is to, instead of campaigning for reparation for slavery, you can get one dollar $1 each and every Biafran or somebody from or you know for that matter that wants to be free because it's only IPOB that can do it only IPOB can set you free nobody else can I say it with every ounce of conviction only IPOB you can contribute only one dollar a month and it is subject to tax write-off which means when you're paying your tax they will disregard it they will say you contributed this we're giving it back to you now we assess your account you're not losing anything so if your uncle, fa of course, some will come up with excuses to tell us why they will not be part of it, <laughs> as they normally do. They will find an excuse. Hey, let me do my research very well. You are going to contribute only twelve dollars every year, and that twelve dollars is subject to tax write-off. It is tax deductible. When it comes to this now, they claim they, they don't understand the grammar anymore. But ordinarily, though, you see them blowing big grammar. It is tax deductible. In other words. We are taking this money from Mr. Trump and IRS in America, not from you. But we're only using your name to collect it. What you're doing in essence is taking one dollar every month from America to give to Biafra. It's legal. Now you have no reason or need not to be part of it. There is an email address you can also use. I want it to be written down everywhere this evening and circulated appropriately. I want it written down and circulated. It is br67foundation at gmail.com. As I'm making this announcement, I want our dear sister and then I have to begin to circulate this information immediately. Those of them who are in the, in the USA, manning this very account to start doing so immediately. br67foundation is bia67 then foundation, which is o F O U N D A T I O N at gmail.com. They won't allow us to use anything else. So we're using Gmail for this. BR67 Foundation at gmail.com. It is called Quick Pay by Zeal or Zelle, whatever. Z E W L E. Those of them in America will know it. 
You can also send interbank transfer using the routing. They call it route, but in the UK it's called route. The routing and account number is the routing number or routing number. They say in America is five one five two one six seven nine one. I repeat, five one five two one six seven nine one. That is the routing number. Maybe it's some sort of short code for them. And then the account number itself is 0720-00326. I repeat, account number of this Chase Bank for Bia Foundation is 0720-00326. Three two six, and the routing number or routing number is five one five two one six seven nine one. I want this detail provided to our mothers in America. IP IPOB women in America is exceptionally strong, very formidable indeed. I want this these details to be made available to every community, every association, every group, every individual in America. So that we know those to depart from Biafran Airport as soon as Biafra comes. You know, before I said we deport people, if they don't contribute towards this very struggle. Now we may even have to detain some people before we deport them back to the USA. These are the details for you to use to support this very effort. Because nobody is going to do it for us. You can set up a direct debit, which they call a reoccurring re contribution. So that every month, you, only one dollar. I'm not, we're not asking, please don't contribute five dollars. No, don't. One only is enough. So that we can get this very job done and sweep away the ginger weed from the north. Again, it is what they call 501c3 account. which means that every money you contribute the tax man uncle sam as they say in america will write it off on a day when the injustice being meted out to el zagzagi and the shia is dominating our minds and our thoughts i shouldn't be talking about fundraising but we need to raise funds to continue to do the work that we are doing. And this yielding fruit, I assure you, quite a lot. And there are a few issues I also like to clear up live on air, especially the responsibility of our people. In Houston, Texas, people should please listen very carefully. This is for IPOB, principal officers or servants, as they call them in the USA. When I attended the town hall meeting in Houston, I made it very, very clear that those zones I created, those zones that I created, their coordinators are supreme. There is no greater Houston gathering of IPOB, none. I did not set up one and there will not be any no greater houston what we have is sugarland missouri and all those places and one coordinator for each of those places and they are called zones the coordinators reign supreme there all of you now answer to the state coordinator direct to the texas state ipob coordinator no greater houston no other collection of people our coordinators must do their jobs and also our mobilization team must also do their work and must be given access to every state to make sure that more families are being created on a daily basis. In IPOB, we live or die based on, on our disciplined structure. Without structure, we are nothing. We don't want to be like the zoo. Where if you don't like one aspect of the law, you start rebelling and deciding which judge to accept his or her ruling or not. 
in our people were disciplined and that is how the affair is going to be everything ends in so far as the usa is concerned at the office of the usa national coordinator he remains the number one citizen in so far as ipob is concerned because if anything goes wrong we hold him responsible the same way that we will hold responsible any state coordinator that we find wanting or lacking in the discharge of their duties and responsibilities I uh, thank you all very much for listening and my tour of australia new zealand and japan is coming up and i hope there are people in the far east and australia that they're geared up for this because there's a lot of work to be done i thank you all very much for listening and i want you to put el zagzagi and dasuki in your prayers Put them in your prayers and we must continue to fight until every body wrongfully incarcerated is set free. This is Radio Biafra and from me, from here, this evening, it is good evening.